With so much software available in the short-term rental industry these days, it's increasingly difficult to keep up to date with what's on the market and to determine whether it's a maybe or a must-have for you and your business. So meet one provider each week in a short interview learning what they do and what they offer. So if you have around 15 minutes to spare, it could prove to be a very good investment to stick around. So let's see who and what is out there, one by one, with me, Deborah Larby, also known as the Guest Inspector. Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Texplained with the Guest Inspector. Are you finding on some listing sites there are properties that look like they're straight out of a magazine or off Instagram? Do you ever stare at these gorgeous properties and think, how did they do that? How did they make it all tie in and how did they make it look so gorgeous? Did you shake your head and think, I could never do that? Well, today we'll learn about a hands-off Instagram meets vacation rental business. Today, I'm chatting with Andrea, who can reply with a, yes, you can, and we'll explain how Full House can do this for you. Hello, Andrea. How are you? Hi, Deborah. I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you very much. And thank you for coming along today. Um, Andrea, we're just going to launch straight into it like I normally do. And the first question is, can you please explain what does Full House do in one sentence? So Full House is an end-to-end servicing, a furnishing solution for the hospitality market. So that's the one sentence, but we do everything from spoons to sofas to cutlery um, and everything in between. Wow. So- yes, you're, you're, you've got a lot on your website. So let's start from the beginning. So I, you do have a service and the service starts off with a f- number of stages, design, furniture, installation, staging, and photography. So can we just go quickly through that? You go through, you do a floor plan, things like that? Exactly. So what actually happens is the customer has to give us their floor plans. Mm -hmm. If they don't have one, there are solutions available from Matterport to, you know, app solutions and and et cetera. So generally we'll take the floor plans. uh, We'll do an analysis, get you pricing right off the bat to give you an idea of like, what does this even cost? Which is usually the first question people come with. Mm. Um, And so, you know, people tend to assume that it's really unaffordable, but actually we work with varieties of budgets. So, you know, from low to high end, um, we'll really work with you to see what you can afford to put in your space. Mm-hmm. Uh, but by establishing exactly what do you need in your space, first things first. Yeah. So after the floor plan analysis, um, there's a design consultation with the designer where you're actually going to walk through exactly the things that you want. So by showing images of your inspiration for the space, they'll be able to kick off an idea of what to procure. Mm-hmm. Uh, from that, they'll show I'll just interrupt you for a second. I did notice the quiz. And so you did have a number of images. So people then select their the kind of image that they want their interior to to feel like, to represent, right? And that gives you the direction. Exactly. And that's kind of the automated version on our website, right? So when you are doing something smaller scale, you know, if a one bedroom or a single family home, Mm -hmm. you can go directly through the website and just answer the quiz questions. So by providing some style inspiration, you can just simply achieve a a result through our uh, platform. So you'll achieve a furniture package that resembles the style that you um, uploaded to the space. Do you, do you then say, okay, for a one bedroom, you need a bed, you need a bedside table, the lamps, you know, and these are all of the items that's going to make this room look like that picture. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So, but I mean, it is space, spatially dependent, right? So, you know, it, it does depend on how much room you actually have. Certain rooms only fit, you know, a queen size bed with one nightstand. Um, so we do that full analysis. Can you handle a dresser? Is there room for a dresser in your space? Uh, console tables, TVs, you know, side tables, all of this stuff, plants has to be considered, you know, spatially before you can even start designing. Yeah, yeah, great. Okay, so then you you come up with a furniture package, you say, this is what it's going to look like, and this is how much it costs. Exactly. And what's really nice about working with us one on one, so not through the website for customers that actually come through ads or uh, book the consultation with us, um, you know, we'll be able to 
hone in really specifically into what your branding is, who your demographic is, where your, your, your location is, how can we cater to the location? So we really do get into the, the whole space, the, 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 the vibe of the, of the actual location of where your units are located. So, so yeah, so it's, um, it's a, it's a truly custom handheld service to get to the final result. And yeah. we have all of this automation in place that enables us to do it a lot faster. So that's amazing. So it's really reflective of the environment and the guest avatar. Absolutely. I mean, I think that at the end of the day, design is a, you know, it's, it's, it's a reflection of the exterior environment as well. So I think your interior really does have to reflect, you know, what the ex exterior experience is and what you're trying to portray to your guests. Um, so I don't think that there's necessarily always going to be a cookie cutter solution for that, but there's a lot of automation and a lot of steps that you can put in place to help achieve a good result quickly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So once the furniture has all been selected and approved, then the next step is you look after the ordering and delivery? Exactly. So everything is procured and centralized at our local warehouse. So wherever your property is, we have a local partner. Um, we consolidate it all, make sure that do all the QA and quality control there. And then from that point, we deliver on site on your delivery day. And depending on the size of the project, it takes a number of days to install. Um, and then we'll set up a very professional photo shoot with, you know, a designer and stager present. We go out and get you know, the, the cookies for the table and the wine for the glasses and make sure that everything is perfectly staged for a beautiful photo finish result, mm -hmm. um, which is ultimately what our clients need to get online as fast as possible mm -hmm. and also generate the highest revenue from, from their spaces, right? So. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, look, it, uh, the industry is very competitive these days in terms of property interiors and photography, it is very competitive. Absolutely. Yeah. And we tend to think that, you know, the only way to truly optimize your space is through design mm -hmm. um, because you can't really make your space bigger and you can't really move the location. So generally, you know, everything you can do to the interior to optimize is where you're going to drive the highest revenue. So that's where, where yeah. Full House comes in. Yeah. And, and you also do customized furniture. So, you know, a bookcase under a set of stairs kind of thing, you can have that made and installed. We... Don't necessarily, no. So our we do work with clients who do want certain mill work done um, to tell them sort of what they should be looking at, but we really let them contract on their own. But okay. we will help them achieve sort of maybe some design or, or you know, we'll consider certain things um, as a part of our service. But generally, we don't work with those contractors. We do, however, work with paint and wallpaper installers. So oh. that is one of the uh, service levels that we do offer. That's great. So that's one service. And then I also noticed on your website, a shop. So yeah. people can go and just buy an individual item. Yeah, well, exactly. So one thing that we really wanted people to know was, you know, before you even land on Full House, knowing that we do all these things, you probably need to know what we can acquire for you and what we can procure for you. Yeah. So, um, so by having the shop gives people access to that um, you know, sort of catalog of furniture, but what you see on the website is a tiny fraction of what we actually carry and what we have access to. Mm -hmm. So um, those are design selections that were selected by the designers to, to put online, but there's a wealth of product that we procure for our clients. Mm -hmm. And you also, sorry, you touched on before about crockery and cutlery and things like that. So for example, when you're doing, so when you're buying the pack, when you're buying the packaging, the packages, sorry, for like the kitchen and everything is being fitted out for the kitchen. When you come along and do the staging, you're using the cutlery and the crockery. It's a whole package deal in terms of the and image. Absolutely everything. So we'll go down to the placemats. Um, I mean, we'll go down to, it, it depends really on the client and what their needs are, but we offer full linen packages, full kitchen packages. Um, you know, we'll do shower curtains and bath mats. We'll do uh, toothbrush holders, you know, all of your, your bathroom kits. It really is what we really want to be is the go-to service for everything you need inside your space yeah. and to get online as fast as possible. Yeah. So we really do offer everything uh, with our sort of business knowledge and, and uh, expertise. We know exactly what you do need in your space to get to the best results in the end. So that's what we're, we're trying yeah. to be. Now, did I also read on your website about rental, renting furniture? Yes, we do offer furniture rental to the hospitality space. Um, it is, 
you know, we know that it is, it can be an expensive thing to, to pay up front, mm-hmm. right? All of, to set up a whole home. I mean, if you've set up your home, if you did it in one go, mm-hmm. it's a very expensive endeavor, right? So we know that, and we've been trying to come up with solutions on how to spread out those payments. So rental was um, well, a way for us to approach you know, somewhat of a a payment plan that works for our customers. Mm -hmm. And also given the nature of the product, things do actually need to be changed quite quite regularly. So Mm -hmm. by having rental as a solution really allows our customers to actually update their spaces more frequently Mm -hmm. uh, without having to deal with the returning, the getting rid of, you know, the the, whatever you have to do in order to to empty it and replace it. Um, So yeah, so that's what rental is actually there to do. Yeah, fantastic. Now, what would you say is your unique selling point? I think it's truly the design aspect. I mean, you can go anywhere for furniture, but if you really want the design service, if you want it at scale and if you want it anywhere in the world, Mm. then there's not that many solutions out there. Mm. Um, Most people come to us because they know that we'll do a good result and, and we'll provide a good result so they can, you know, optimize their listing. And that's ultimately what we're trying to achieve. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and so why would I use your product? What are the benefits for me, your service? I mean, amongst all of the the ones that we've already listed today (laughs) in the past few minutes. Yeah. um, I think that our best customer is coming to us with an empty space. So it's not necessarily ideal for people who want to keep, you know, 50% of the interior and only replace. 50%. In that case, I would say go online and procure your product through our website directly and you can be selective knowing what goes with your your furniture. Um, But in our our ideal customer is starting with an empty clean space and wants to approach it from a design standpoint and wants to elevate it. So that is usually the ideal customer that we're working with. Um, And then they're ultimately listing it for short term or mid term or flex rental, all the many different furnished rental opportunities that are yeah. available but but yeah. the main benefit wouldn't it be like it's completely hands-off if i if i've come to you and i'm going through the whole service i don't Absolutely. really have to do anything except that say that looks gorgeous sign the dotted line and you look after everything else Absolutely. Well, because most of our clients don't live or or work where in the location where their property is, right? So there has to be some solution to get stuff to where the furniture needs to be mm. without having to be there yourself, right? Mm-hmm. So that's that. yes, yeah. of course, it's fully turnkey, fully hands off. That's fantastic. That's great. Now, uh, I suppose there's nothing to do with white labeling because the guest doesn't see anything. This is all just between you and the property manager. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So there is absolutely nothing white labeled. We're very transparent with who our suppliers are yeah. um, and we want to remain transparent. We are ultimately looking to be a marketplace for all of the furniture suppliers so that, you know, we can create these design packages. And so that furniture is not only being sold in piecemeal formats, right? In this really design lens. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so there's no white labeling per se. Yeah. Now, who is your target audience? You mentioned uh, a, a property manager with an empty product, but mm-hmm. does it matter if that? Sorry, property. Does it matter if they only have one, or would you rather the bigger property managers? No, no. We often deal with single owners, right? We often deal with you know you and I who are buying a, a you know a holiday home somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, that's fine. I just think that our ideal customer is really just renting their space right or they're going to be using it as a revenue property mm-hmm. um i find that when and we deal with all kinds when we've dealt with individual homeowners furnishing their own space it's a different attachment to the product mm. so it's a very custom handheld service which we don't necessarily have the bandwidth for right so that isn't our it isn't our perfect fit so yeah, so ideally it is a customer coming to us with an empty home who is renting their space um, and it's not their primary residence. Yeah, yeah. And where is this target audience? Is it only the US? So we're actually all over uh, US and Canada at the minute. Mm-hmm. Um, and we are looking to expand in the near future. Lovely. So so all the, the, the purchasing and delivery, just US and Canada for now. Just okay. in Canada for now, yeah. All right. Now, I know that the service obviously depends on the size of the property and how much furniture, but how do how does the pricing work? 
if I just want you to help me with a one bedroom or if I want to come on and buy one piece of furniture? Is there a business model or is it just sort of one price, one sort of set price for each service? Yeah. Uh, so there is pricing for scales and tiers of customers, right? So if you're doing a single family home versus a hundred unit property, mm -hmm. there are different tiers of pricing for each of those customers. Mm -hmm. um, but generally the businesses always um, on average are buying product at about 20 to 25% at a discount rate, discounted rate from the mm -hmm. retail price. Mm -hmm. um, if you're buying single pieces on our website, it is the retail price, you know, so it's competitive with any other retailer out there carrying similar mm -hmm. products. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But for any businesses, you're saving about 20 to 25 percent on the goods and then the services, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera. So you don't have to join or subscribe or anything like that. You can just come on board and buy a piece of furniture. Uh, yeah, you can just come online and just buy whatever products that you need. Lovely. OK, now. So then there's no contract. Absolutely. Great. So we're going to wrap yeah. up now. Is there anything else that you that we haven't touched on that you think we should know about Full House? Um, I think that there are some exciting things coming down the pipeline mm -hmm. to look out for, but mm -hmm. nothing I want to talk too much about yet. Ah, okay. Stay, stay tuned. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's a little cliffhanger for our next chat. Okay, lovely. Well, yeah. Andrea, thank you very, very much for your time. It's been lovely hearing about Full House. Sounds like a great service. And uh, and I will look forward to speaking to you again. Uh, Absolutely. After reveal. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Deborah. Um, and looking forward to chatting again. Okay. Thanks, Andrea. Thank Bye. 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 Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you'd like to catch up on the ones you've missed, just head to thetechsplainseries.com. That's for the longer interviews. But if you don't have time, you can always catch the short ones, the tech minis. Just head to thetechminis.com for extra short interviews. See you next time.